68 Eton Viper 150 and uh, we're out at my father-in-law's field and he's just blasting around it's a four, a four cycle single cylinder 150cc sport ATV approximately three thousand dollars to buy his is a 07 I believe now my younger son is on a Viper 90 sorry he's on a Viper 90 it's the red one the blue one is the Viper 150 so this is this is the Viper 90, that's my four-year-old. And back there is the Viper 150. 150 is substantially more power. Than the 90. The 90 will haul me around in a little bit of mild off-road stuff, but the uh, the 150 has no problem at all hill climbing with me. My son's going to try to wreck for the camera, I suspect, here. He's showing, definitely trying to be in show-off mode here, or as much as he can be in a flat field. <laughs> well, there goes Troy on the 90 he's gonna now the 90 you look at it and you suspect that it's really slow but actually on level like this it's almost almost as fast as the 150 now the 90 I have the uh, the thumb throttle limited. I got there's a screw in there, and you can turn the screw in, which limits the amount of travel. Well, I have the screw is bottomed out. I have it all the way in, which allows him to barely get above the point that the belt engages, um, so that he can't take off and go. I think that there I've clocked it with my Rhino. I have a uh, 07 Rhino Sport. And I believe that'll do around 30 mile an hour, and I believe the red one will do somewhere in a 26, 27 mile an hour on you know, level wide open area. But um, overall, I have to say that the Etons are the best made um, of the China ATVs out on the market. I mean, I know they're also the most expensive, but you tend to get what you pay for, and as far as like, you know, brakes frames weld quality electrical system you buy these things um i know a couple of people that bought them they don't even change the oil ever but you buy them and you just ride them and even dads you get on them you can ride them for hours and hours and hours and hours and hours and you won't break them or hurt them unless you do something stupid like run it into something but they are uh, hands down a good value for your kids which one Oh, you want to take Troy up it? See if you can get him to follow you up there? No, I was going to go up the pipeline and go down. Oh, okay, you can, yeah. Alright, he's going to go do a hill climb here. And the hill climb is, is up the uh, power line right there. Or the gas line, actually. And then it comes down through the woods. You can sort of see over here. You see the angle. That's that's a uh, access route, and then he'll come across the creek over here and come back to us. So he's he's down there right now. I don't know if you can see the shine of his helmet through the trees right there, but he's crossed the creek. He's on his way, and there he goes up the hill. You see him up there? Now he's going to crest over the top. It levels out right there, and he's going to turn hard left and then come down this nice angled road. Hopefully there's no trees down. Not sure if, if you guys, you know, if the camera's picking him up or not enough that you can really see him. There he is. Now you should be able to see him pretty easy in the clearing. Now he's going to drop down and cross the creek and come back to us. He's going to go over the bank and through the creek a little bit. There, up onto the dirt. And there you got it. Viper 150. It's an animal, man. It really is. It's a fun quad.
Uh, my son is um, somewhere around 90 pounds. Um, he's he's light, uh, no doubt. Um, I'm like 200 pounds, and I know that quad has no problem with me, like I said. But it's not near as spunky and fast with me as it is with him. Um, you got a 100-pound kid, 120-pound kid. That thing will flip over or spin out going up a hill climb before, long before it ever loses power or slips the, uh, the, the clutch system on it. So the uh, Viper Series ATVs, 90 and the 150, and I had a 70, I sold it. But um, they're great machines, great value for your money. Later.